chest. We don't want anybody reading her mind. While she's here, please. I, I love that she brought the family heirlooms, the crown jewels, as it were. Is my hair look, Ellie, does my hair look crazy? Uh, how does it look? It looks good. Hey guys. Um, I love seeing the, the Polaris cosplayers. Oh, we have another Marvel uh, superhero in the room, Deadpool, Deadpool. back there. Hello, Deadpool. Please try to keep quiet. We're trying to have a civilized conversation. Uh, I'm going to start off with some questions. Amazing. We're going to get questions from the audience, too. Okay. We're going to get questions from the audience, too, in just a moment. Uh, when I, I love you, too. Oh, you're talking to her. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to get questions from the audience. We have a microphone that they're going to take. Yes? I love you too, Deadpool. You're great. How much do you love her? Uh, I love her. I love her so much. Can I come on? Uh, hey, Russell, can we get this? Okay, Deadpool's this? coming. Well, I don't see him from security. Hey, hi. Hello. It's hi, Christian. Aaron Slugger. Gotcha. You thought something really uncomfortable was about to happen. <laughs> that was good. I love seeing all of your faces Everyone's while like, no, we're doing no, no, that. No, no, don't let them up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad nobody tackled me. Yeah. I was going get, to. Well, get, look, if you're going to be on stage, get on the mic. Oh, yeah. Come on. Hello. Oh. How has Toronto treated you? Great. Until this guy showed Until up. Until this yeah. guy showed up. I was doing um, photos, and this guy came in that, with this mask on. And I was like, cool, Deadpool. I love Deadpool. Yeah, he loves like, Deadpool. And, and then he was like, it's me. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I live here, so I just thought I'd stop by. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's excellent. One of my favorite things to start off with is talking about fandoms, things that people loved as a kid, growing up, that kind of thing. You know, we, we've gotten pretty close over the three or four sentences we've exchanged. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I just wanted to thank you for being a friend, oh. coming down the road and back, back again. again. Your heart is true, your You're pal a and a confidant. confidant. Do, 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 and if I threw a party, invited everyone you knew. No? Okay. So you would see the biggest gift, gift would be for me, me and, and the card attached would say I've thank you for song. being a friend. <laughs> Great. <laughs> how, how far how far back does your Golden Girls Ultra Mega Super fandom go? Um, all the way back to the beginning, I would say. I'm not at all. Um, no, I was a big fan of um, the Facts of Life in my teen years, and once I was done watching every episode of that a million times, I was like, next, Golden Girls. So I'm obsessed with Golden Girls. I'm the captain of a Golden Girls trivia team, or I'm in a Golden Girls trivia team. I think I'm a captain. Um, who are you pouring? Oh. Um, so no Golden Girls fans? Okay, moving on. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm a Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Percy, what were you into? What, were you, what, what, what was your fandom as a kid? What were you super, super into? He's still a kid. Um, I really when, liked, he's uh, grown up quite a bit. He's like really into Gucci. I don't know. Does that count? No, I, I liked the X-Men when I was a kid. Oh, yeah? Comic yeah. books, I know, movies, I don't know if you animated guys, series, you guys heard of that. one. All of them? I don't know. Like Just generally, just like... X-Men, X-Factor, X-Men Blue, Look, the new ones, the old Excalibur. ones, quite decade. I don't know. Uh... This is what happens when you jump on stage and surprise us. Anxiety attack. <laughs> we, we literally interrogate you. Yeah. Um, what else? I don't know. He-Man. I like He-Man. He-Man? Yeah. Okay, if you were a He-Man fan, you know, who were some of your favorite characters? There's some, like, bizarre monster animal bad yeah. guys, like Beast Man and I like Beast Man. I like, what a, is a guy named Merman? Merman, yeah. Yeah, he's cool. Um, I don't know. I used to watch the show with my dad. He got me into watching like a lot of like '80s cartoon stuff because he's really like, old '80s cartoon childhood. childhood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So, being in the gifted, both of you, uh, you know, Percy, I guess, I guess you. You're in the gifted too. No yeah. way. What? Yes, she is. I never. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were familiar. The whole show is built around Magneto's daughter. Oh Someone yes, said. I would say that too. <laughs> So, Percy, you were, you were a fan of the X-Men growing up. Uh, Emma, were you already into the X-Men? Did you have any kind of an onboarding process? I have a confession to make. I was a DC girl. Oh, okay. There were lots of sighs, but a few, a few happy faces. No, um, 
But I, I always um, had a place in my heart for the X-Men specifically. I, what I like about Marvel is it deals with topics that are like darker, more adult themed. Not that DC can't get dark. But um, I think, you know, in my research, in my reading of hundreds and hundreds of uh, Marvel comic books, I've found a love for, you've read them too. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. you have. <laughs> they made us, they signed us up for the Marvel app, which if any of you have it, it's great. It's an Marvel archive. Marvel Unlimited is yes. so good. It's, um, it's an archive of all the comics ever. It's, it's fantastic. I have access to that too. My, you got one. Whoa. My password is like Polaris, yeah, or something like that. Or my username. Learning new things. Anyway, so free login for you. Well, so well, start, well, start guessing her email address. <laughs> yeah, ready? You have access yeah. to uh, So you, you jumped in, uh, you know, all the way with the show. I, I gather you, you, had a, you had a past as a ballerina. Yes. Uh, as, as, oh. a, as, a, as a ballerina myself. Uh, how, how, does, how does that influence you making all kinds of... All superpower of motions and all that kind of stuff the whole thing it influences everything actually i mean this character all of our characters are so like physically demanding i guess i mean they're just the physicality of it is so important i mean you look at wanda you look at elizabeth olsen she was also a ballerina every single movement she does everything she does is like very dance driven even if you don't realize it so yeah it helps completely i don't know first what do you think uh, I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Very on brand. He's, he's really getting this personal branding thing down. He's yeah, so yeah. consistent. <laughs> um, what, you know what? Did, did you do anything, you know, like dance or anything like that when you were younger uh, that, that's helped you as a performer? He you boards. Know, he skateboards. I tried to get into a lot of stuff, but I'm just lazy. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just don't, I just never learned anything. Percy's but, um, lying. He's actually like an amazing, uh, like digital artist. He's like a good photographer. He's like really into skateboarding. He's very multi-talented, but so he's a liar as well, which is he's good at. <laughs> um, no, he's not lazy at all. What are you talking about? And we're going to get some audience questions. Start thinking. Uh, I, I only got one or two more. Oh, you know what? If we've already got hands up, I'm just going to go to you. Yeah, you. first guy with his hand up right back there. Oh, no, sorry. Just behind you. Uh, and then so we'll go. What was your favorite moment uh, on set uh, or a uh, biggest, uh, funniest moment or uh, prank you did or uh, something like that? Or so, what so favorite, best, funniest prank? This is probably the funniest prank, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, right this here. is the best. I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. The funniest cast members are me and Percy. Mm. So, like, other people think they're funny. Why do you think no one else is here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the my my scariest moment was that there was a table that Thunderbird was supposed to break with his fist, uh, Blair, and they like were supposed to make it break away, but they didn't like cut it enough, and so he slammed his fist like the wrong way, like this, like with this part of his fist down, like totally the wrong way, like you could break your wrist like that, into a table at full speed, and it looked so painful. It would like it. The sound of it was like oh, but like he's so tough. He was like yeah, whatever. <laughs> but I know he was crying inside. His, his skin is actually impervious to bullets in real life. Yeah. Now that you right here. Um, the show's been really good for uh, kind of putting in some Easter eggs and name drops and that. And I'm just wondering if you're reading when reading the script or going through a scene where you, you had that Easter egg type moment that made you guys kind of go like, wow, we should have actually been in the comics and didn't see all this stuff. I mean, they don't. Easter eggs, most of our Easter eggs are visual. So like, there should be like more. the Wolverine. I mean, there's like, you can, I don't know if you guys saw the trailer for season two. Did anyone see it? Well, there's an image of the inner circle and there's actually, a, you can see uh, Magneto's like figure in it. You can see the helmet in it and the windows. So if you go watch that, there are things like, there are like all of the structures are made of M's and X's, like I stuff like that. Like that. it's a lot of visual stuff. Like we don't really have Easter eggs that are like written into the actual script. So no, there's nothing. I don't remember anything. That's I think like, Stan Lee was the best one. Oh, Stan Lee was great. That yeah, was that was amazing. He was in the first episode. That's also an Easter egg and just more like Stan Lee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's cool. Over here. Hi, I'm Michael. Um, my question for both of you guys is, what was it like working with both Stephen Moyer and Amy Acker? Were, were either of you fans of their work before you worked with them? No, but my mom was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom was. Percy, Percy's just like straight up on, on, the, on the whole making everybody in the room feel old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, my mom watches True Blood and she was like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Amy Acker. Um, I think she's a national treasure. I think she's America's sweetheart. She's a flawless beauty. Um, the end. No, she's incredible. You should you should pick up some of her old work on Wishbone. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, she yeah. was on Wishbone. Yeah, she was on Wishbone. It shot. We're, we're both from Dallas. It shot Dumb. in Dallas. She was the dog's mom and the dog's wife and the dog's friend and that kind of thing in so many episodes of Wishbone. 
love it. See, buy the Wishbone box set. That's the, this panel brought to you by the Wishbone box set. And Golden Girls too. Oh wait. And Gold, Wishbone and both Golden Girls wait, available so, on Amazon. So I'm so sorry I have to interrupt because I just thought of a good answer to mm -hmm. the question that was before. Um, there is one I thought of. I thought of an Easter egg, and I can share it because it was set in the first season. So like my character in the comics. <laughs> if you want to, she's like, I don't know. He's, or he's like, she's talking about herself again, or Polaris again. So like, my character, it was really her like origin story is really sad. Like, she killed her parents when her powers manifested, like at a really young age. It's like very heartbreaking if you're familiar with it. Um, and last year it was said that her character was her dad was like killed in a plane crash, and then this year we actually say. <laughs> I'm sorry, Percy, are we boring you? This, this year we say that she, he was killed in a plane crash when she was one years old, which aligns more with the comic book origin. So, like, more and more is being revealed, which is pretty cool. Okay, the end. Spoiler alert. Over here, Polaris. Uh, hi. Um, oh, I was like, what? <laughs> Me? <laughs> No, we don't have We can't afford them. Like my dad. I always joke around, I always say, I'm TV's Magneto, because we can't afford the real thing. I'm just made up completely, so. I'm no, you're not. You're a Von Strucker well, ancestry. Debatable. We're all just kids of the real people. Emma Frost's clones, uh, Magneto's daughter, the Strucker's great whatever. It's like Muppet so Babies, but for X-Men. It's X-Men Babies. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly the same thing. So, uh, since you're familiar with the X-Men, and you have those limitations with the characters, well, who would be your wish to go on the show then? If there were no one. Sir Ian McKellen, are you kidding? That's everyone's wish. Right? Can we take a poll who wants Sir Ian McKellen on the show? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I always like that Nightcrawler guy. Yeah, yeah okay. I think he'd be cool. Fair enough. Well, there's not enough people with like makeup. We should get more people with like big, like Beast and Nightcrawler. Oh, dude, and, like, porcelain, porcelain mutants coming back. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> anyway. Everyone's favorite. Is <laughs> Like adapting a storyline that they've written. Yeah, I'd like to meet my dad, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The main storyline is that I have a family that's all owned by MCU now that I don't get to meet. Boo. -hoo. Right? No, yeah. I don't know. Who do you who do you interest Well, in? I don't know. I mean, like not for my character, it's there's a lot of cool stuff that they could do because like there's not a lot of like comic background. Um so I don't know, there could be like especially like there's not even a name for for mine and my sister's powers. Like so, there could be like there's it's just, like this whole yeah, but like it it's hasn't. that's not the that's th that doesn't explain what it is like there there's there could be more stuff I don't know there could be a cool storyline with that air movers who knows well I mean you being familiar with the comics Percy is there is there one of those storylines that you would like to just have bolted onto your character or maybe in the style of that kind of thing I don't know I don't know I'll have to get back I don't to know, what what are what are some of your some of your favorites I mean some of your go tos it can be DC we'll allow <laughs> DC answers. Like, um... Just comic storylines. You know, I can't really think of any right now. See, this is what happens when you just jump yeah. on stage. I, I, <laughs> I, I, this is, I wasn't, I didn't plan out any I thought, I thought I liked you so much, I thought you came prepared. Yeah. I'm not, I don't know. I was more of a movie watcher. I'm, I'm not, not much of a reader. Okay, all right, pick, pick, a, pick, a, pick, a, pick a, in the style of a particular movie that you'd like to, like to see. I don't know, movie. man. What are you saying? Oh, I think we should do, like, Fight Club, but for, like, Andy and Polaris. No. Wait, what do you know. mean? There, there's, Scarface there's... for the gifted. Yeah. <laughs> School of, of Rock. X-Men. Yes. <laughs> huh? I don't know. I don't fully understand the question. Yeah. Like, but about, like, plot lines. I mean, anything can happen. It's a world where literally it's... Anything yeah, that's, that what, that's what I was saying. Like, Congratulations, a thousand points. Yeah, I, I like that it's an, an original plot line, like it's, and they're just like making it up, you know, because it had, gives it way more freedom. It's all been done before. <laughs> Forging new ground. That's one of the things I love about the show. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have more audience questions. I don't want to absorb all the time. Let's go here. Or oh, did did you have one? Yeah. Oh, good. Go for it. Oh my god, that's so sweet. <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating ice. Um, you know, I've always had a dream. Okay, you said Harley, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have problems with her. No offense. I just like I used to I used to be obsessed 
with her when I was younger. And as I've grown into a grown woman, I've realized that uh, their relationship is very, very uh, abusive and skewed. Um, so I have some problems. Think, yeah, it's not appropriate. Yeah, uh, it's not okay. So some of the some of the rehabilitation of the character that Jimmy Palmiotti and Amanda Connor did, making her more of kind of a derby girl who was retaking totally. the reins. Totally, no, you're hundred percent correct. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I'm talking about like yeah, back in the original day. Original Harley. Back in the yeah. day, no. So like a newer contemporary version. Rock on, love her. Um, but like old school stuff is like pretty sad. And I'd say the same for Polaris too. There were many, many decades where she was the crazy girlfriend. She was like Havoc's crazy, like almost wife. So you could have made it an X Men team of mutant women who are crazy girlfriends at, at various <laughs> points in comics. I mean, history. literally, yeah, Seriously. yeah. And so it's like I think those like titles for female characters aren't like cool. I'm sorry, what? Do you have something to say? My girlfriend is talking shit about me over there. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to come up here? No, she would are not. You sure? <laughs> No thanks. Do you have something to say? Do you have a question? Mm. Um, I love Harley, but also I think I just have the uh, skin tone and um, a color palette for Poison Ivy. Okay, but wait, straight up, uh, my favorite is Riddler. Will always be my favorite. I think I think that's the role I was meant to play. Hey, Edward Nigma's had enough time in the question mark suit. Why don't we give it <laughs> to right. him? Yes, thank you. All right, give it to his, his sister, his cousin Edna. Yes. yes. <laughs> Who we got next? Let's go right here. Hmm? What do you love most about her character? Yeah, what do you love most about your character? She's cool. <laughs> um, I like Polaris because she runs off. You know the like Myers-Briggs test, the personality test, where they're like, are you a thinker or are you a feeler? I love Polaris because I feel like she's kind of both. Mm -hmm. Like she runs a lot off of adrenaline. And is that Quicksilver? Oh no, sorry. I wasn't saying that. You moved too fast. I was sorry. like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did you go? Um, <laughs> And, you know, I think in a way she's like both. I think she's like cool, she's badass. I love the way we portray her mental illness. Like it doesn't like identify her. It's just the same as anything else. Um, like any other as characteristic of her, like it's not, it doesn't like, it doesn't make her who she is. She's just like cool and that's just like a part of her. I like that about our Polaris. Um, I think she's just a badass. I really look up to her, honestly. Um, she fights for what she believes in. She hates bigots and so do I. So I think she's cool. Down to the bigots. Uh, let's go over this side. Yeah, you and then you right next to me. What's your favorite episode? Sorry? What's your favorite episode? Favorite episode. Choose a favorite episode. I don't know. I only watch my scenes, so I have no idea. <laughs> I thought you were going to pick an episode of Golden Girls. Just to... <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Do you have a favorite episode, for Um, I like a lot of the episodes in season two. Um, <laughs> Yeah. How much do you like your job? I, I, I like my job. I like, <laughs> you, my job. I like your job a whole lot, so you're not going to say which one. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, oh, are you talking about new season? I have, I have an episode this season. Am I allowed to say that? Maybe not. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's just avoid that. There's, there's, not, that's my favorite episode. There's one you really like. There's one I really like. Who knows which one it is? No, no, I I'm like kidding, 202. Anyway. 202 I'm, I'm, I'm really cool in 202. I, have to, I had to have a baby in 201, so I'm just done after that. <laughs> um, well, I like the finale of the first season, too. Yeah. That was cool. I got to blow stuff up. <laughs> yeah. And then next, right there. I got to blow stuff up. Hi, Emma. Hey, what's um, up? Just to talk about Christopher Cable, well, um, what's it like seeing that giant billboard you saw at that hotel in Hong Kong in San Diego? You have a billboard? Wait, that was me? What? No, that was uh, really scary, honestly. Um, and it was really weird because I didn't know that we were only doing one billboard. I didn't know that the, the gift only had one thing, and I didn't know it was that big. I like, had kind of seen it on Instagram, but I didn't realize until I got there, and I like walked up, and I was like, oh. And then the second time I saw it, it was actually like on a building, and so I like walked into the building, and I was like, who is that girl screaming at me? Oh, that's me. Oh. So um, my reactions were surprised and also a little bit scared, but it was super fun. I mean, I'm so grateful to be able to represent the show at Comic-Con with um, Sean Teal, who plays Eclipse. That was like super cool. I think our relationship models um, that of Xavier and Magneto um, and in line with MLK and Malcolm X. So I, I think that's really, really cool. Um, in your research, Um, there were a lot of storylines that reached out to me as this is the Polaris I don't want to do. <laughs> um, Polaris 
like I said before, it was a different time, and she was portrayed um, as women were. Um, you know, she was under mind control a lot. Um, but I've, I'm always going to be in favor of any anything X Factor. It's when she kind of came into her own, got to lead for herself. Um, also, if anyone has seen the new X-Men Blue comics, she also is, again, leading a group, and I'm, I'm really happy for her and proud of her. Um, so, yeah, there are some things I'm not super in favor of as far as her. I also am not... I like... Havoc and Lorna forever, but like their relationship was kind of crazy. So there are some things that I'm like not happy with, but any and I'd say anything X Factor, I'm like very pleased with her job. I'm like happy for her. She did a great job. Oh, and first he wants a storyline. There's a in comics, Andrea Stucker took uh, his sister skin and wrapped it around a helix of sword, breaking his power on the That's terrible. <laughs> hold, on, hold on a second, sir. Let me call our writers. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Ask Fox about that one. I don't think that's, I don't think that's a lot. Family TV hour. Yeah. Wholesome entertainment. Poor Lauren. Go right ahead. Um, what do you both think when you found out that you were going to go to the other side of the Marvel Universe? Did you think that was going to happen? Oh, I thought it was awesome. Dude. The inner circle, you mean? Yeah, one of the two characters did go to the other side. Well, I think we went because, like, I don't know. My family was just always trying to control me and... It's just way cooler, you know? Like, they got, they got tons of money. I mean, look at me now. I got, like, cool hair, cool outfits, you know? No thanks. Um, I, I, Good talk, everybody. I knew my character was going to go to the Hellfire Club um, sort of from the beginning. I mean, it's her family legacy, um, so I wasn't surprised that that was sort of more her political stance was on that side of things. Um, I think... Uh, for Lorna, it's like really hard because she like do doesn't want to hurt people. She doesn't believe in, in hurting innocents, at least. Um, she would never hurt an innocent, but there's something very... Um, it's like life or death. But it's very high stakes, the world they live in. So she had to do something. So I, I thought it was I thought it was great. There's some things I don't agree with, but most for the most part, um, taking action is better than not doing anything. Are you talking to me? Both. Everyone. Both of you. Oh. I don't have a favorite character besides Polaris. I'm so sorry. I like couldn't even think of. Oh. I'm sorry. I could like pretend and be like, I really love Thunderbird. No, I love Polaris. Oh, oh, but or you I. could be oh, generous to person and oh, say, no. Oh, Andy. Andy's oh, the no, best. No, I would never say that. I love. <laughs> he only has half of his powers. His sister has the other half. No, I do. I do hardcore stand um, Thunderblink though. OTP like for life. <laughs> Well, Reddit just exploded. <laughs> there was this um, character in the first season who like guarded the mutant underground, and he had he was like a gargoyle. Oh and yes. And I thought it was so cool because like gargoyles were meant to like fear, like in, ensue fear in people and like and like scare people away. And his power was to like bring fear. So like anyone who was around him would just get really afraid. And I thought that was a cool power. Oh wait, can I say a different answer? I I I forgot. <laughs> My favorite character by far. Do you guys know who Shatter is? Shadow with the bat. Okay, yeah, Shadow is my favorite character. I think, and this is like gonna be a weird dark answer, but I think what he's gone through, both like his mental illness and um, his powers, are like a perfect like physical representation of what what being a mutant represents, what being a minority represents. Um, his story of of being suicidal, but then having unbreakable skin, is like the craziest, darkest, most horrifying thing. Uh, but I think it really, really, really like p p puts it into a box of what like being a mutant is, what this means, what the struggle is, um, and how it can isolate you. Anyway, he's my favorite. That was sad. No, it's cool. I was wondering, um, how long did it take you guys, or how did they teach you to use your hands for the powers? Like, was it awkward, or did it take a long time to get it together? Can you spread your pinky just two yeah. inches further? Well, we have Derek Hoffman for that. Yeah, he's cool. He's yeah. our Marvel producer. He, well, he's the hands producer. He, he, <laughs> that's what he he's like, okay, hands a little like this. So, so Percy, what you're doing right now is Dr. Strange fingers. We need <laughs> not to Dr. Strange fingers. And Emma, I, he, no, he must keep have doing Spider-Man like fingers. Like Stop doing Spider-Man <laughs> fingers, Emma. Um, 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 let's be real. We, we, I feel stupid most of the time. <laughs> no, I don't yeah. feel cool at all. We're like. If anybody's seen that video of um, nothing's the flash happening. behind the scenes, nothing's happening. And like, he has to go like this. Oh wait, the and then there's wait, like nothing the, happening. Wait, wait, it's basically how like, we feel. He's like, I'm gonna go up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then, and then, Supergirl, she's just like, 
Oh, <laughs> nothing happens. And then it, that's basically, that's, that's, what, what, that's we what we do. feel like all the time. That's what we so feel I'm just like, all the time. and I'm like, like crapping my pants. You know? <laughs> 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 yeah, but I'm, I'm more relaxed this season. Um, kind of like, you yeah, know, yeah, like cool cooler. Guy. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my powers <laughs> came from actually um, Polaris and Magneto in the comic books. Frequently are seen doing hands like a relaxed, sort of like, not not closed fist, not open hand, but somewhere in the middle, and so that's where where my like signature hand came from. It was like. I didn't do <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, he just he never stops. What? Well, I didn't do anything. I just don't look at me, man. <laughs> She's gonna kill me. Yes. Let's see next up, who do we have? Right over here, another Polaris. Flying. Yeah, I mean. Flying was fun. I was gonna say that. Must oh, I'm sorry. Cool. I'm not supposed to say flying was supposed to be levitating. Cause, te well, technically, right now, my dad he can use the iron in the earth's core to to fly or levitate, but I can't yet. I just have to use like the metal I'm wearing on my clothes. Man, he's powerful. Yeah, man. <laughs> Tell remember me that, about remember it. that? There was one. I think it was X Men Two when he like. I, I love the scene when he when he gets Mystique to inject that guy with with iron with like a bunch of iron and then he uses it to like rip out of his blood and then has those little like balls. Look, and he, we have iron in our blood already. No, but he needed more. Yeah, no, I know. I've seen it. I was there. Well, I wasn't there, but like. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, favorite scene. Wait. Clearly that that scene where Magneto did. That scene that I wasn't in. The, that we, I, we were there. Uh, we loved it. Um, oh yeah, flying. I already answered. My favorite scene uh, from season one. Oh, the the ba the very first episode because like we were the bathroom scene. It was like that was all actually happening. None of it was oh, like yeah. visual effects, and I actually got to just like he was like, okay, just scream, and I was like, yay! Like <laughs> this is the only time I'm allowed, <laughs> you know. So I just like s started screaming, and then everything exploded. That was really fun, and I was like soaking wet too, so that was cool. My least favorite scene was from the pilot, where I had a scene, we had, we actually, I don't know if anyone noticed, but in the pilot, Andy and Polaris have sort of mirror, par, parallel mirror scenes. Um, Andy has a scene where he's in the shower, and where he's getting like tackled and attacked, and then Polaris has the scene in the rain where she's being tackled and attacked. Um, and that was not my favorite, that was my least favorite scene. Why, did it, it hurt? it was freezing cold, it oh. was freezing, and literally they slammed, you were like facing up, and mine, they like slammed me into the ground, like face down into a puddle. Oh no, my least favorite was the bag. Oh, never mind. What was the, the, what the bag? Have remember I seen I the, the show? I don't remember know. when I was in the vacuum? <laughs> what is I originally was in, you guys can see it in the very first trailer that came out. They didn't use it in the final pilot, but I was in a vacuum sealed bag. Oh. Yeah, it was horrible. I kept like losing vision. I kept being like, I can't see, let me down. <laughs> Wait, where are you? This oh. is my friend Josh, <laughs> everyone. Oh. Don't, wow. don't embarrass me. Spoiler alert. I love Josh. that he's like that. We were going to find that out. You just told us. I play, um, I play young Professor Rock Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Um, he... You could be in any project and play like any character. What would you choose to do? Like, what's your dream project? Which one? Both. Hmm. <laughs> dream project. Joan of Arc. Oh, damn. Should have. Uh, Thomasina in Tom Stoppard's Arcadia. She has two answers. Whoa, that is That's the. Sorry, that is the coolest bowl of all time. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love it. Thanks. Any character? She's a brat, but I love her. She's not. <laughs> Septimus is terrible. He's all over this. So many issues. We're just killing time I love that we're like... Yeah, I, lo I love the reason. We talk. like so many of the same we, things. This is... Yeah. This I love those. Yeah. See, Joshua knows that I've seen, like, every piece of, like, video entertainment ever released, and I just Tyler can't. Durden and Fight Club. Well, no, because there's a lot of reasons why oh, not, not for you, for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't know, man. I just, I, I can't answer that. I, I feel like I would be betraying every other movie. Because I just want to play them all. I want to do it all. Have you seen Casino? I have. We have to talk about this later. Yeah. Well, no, I think I told you to watch it. She's going to deny it, but I, I have a really great nah, taste man. in movies, and I suggest them all the time. Nah, and she's you just didn't like, tell no, me I watched it on Casino. my own. I did it. No. Dude, Casino, Joe Pesci. Oh, Maybe yeah. you did tell me. Because I, mm, I remember being like, no, so. it's not Scarface or Fight Club. I don't care. And you were like, yes, it's basically the same thing. <laughs> It's better. Has anyone seen it? No? Okay, great. Okay, good, good, good. You understand. That, that cornfield scene, though. Anyway. Um, my agents look at me like, why are you talking about this? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. 
<laughs> now we're gonna we're gonna talk about Scorsese's After Hours for twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, some real more uplifting stuff over here. Hi guys, uh, really looking forward to on the show. Uh, it was great work. Uh, I was just wondering, out of all the cast members, in your opinion, who's the most opposite of their screen character and who's the most white person? I mean, how, how much of a totalitarian cop is Steve Moyer in real life? Hell no. Hmm. Uh. Most opposite. Well, I mean, dude. Like, okay, let's let's be straight up. We were all cast to play ourselves. Like, honestly, don't you think? Well, there's two British guys on the show. Well, They're whatever. just faking their but, whole. Their no, whole but Sean. Way no. <laughs> no, Sean is playing himself. That's yeah. That he's eclipsed. <laughs> I would say, Stephen, maybe no. He's I don't know. What, I don't, oh well. Jamie's not that funny. Secret character number no, just one. <laughs> I, Wait, what? Nothing. I don't know. No, oh, never secret mind. character number one. Are you talking about? <laughs> the hand protects him from his Oh no, she's not secret. Oh, that's who it is. So we have a new character named Reva, um, who's played by Grace Byers. I didn't know. No, no, she's in the she's in previous. Okay. We can say it. Um, who was played by uh, Grace Byers, who was on Empire recently, and she um, plays the exact opposite of her character in every way. Like I'm different from Polaris. I'm that was weird. Alaska, um, but um, but like I, I can still be like angry and like I'm kind of like crazy like she is and like he's kind of like his character and Jamie's like funny like blank but like she is the exact opposite. So Reva, when you meet her, just remember she's nothing like that in real life. Whatever she's like on the show. Well, if you've read her in the comics, it's, she's same as in the comics. Like um, she was. Oh, you're giving stuff away. Well, she was the white queen. We're getting of, this over was, here. No, we are. Oh, she was the white queen of the Hellfire Club. <laughs> Um, okay, anyway. She's like, do whatever. <laughs> any more, any more, any more, any more? We have more down over here. This is how I kill time while I'm moving my phone. Ah, go ahead. So she was asking about Bunheads, one of my favorite shows of the last 10 years, uh, which is, I, I still think, tremendously underappreciated. Wonderful health program. What was it like working on that, especially working with Sutton Foster? Um, Sutton is amazing. She was just as flawless as she seems in real life. Um, it was amazing working on that show. It was so fun. I got to come to work every day and dance. Um, I was such a huge Sutton. I was like, like Sutton Foster was my role model before I got that job. I'm very tall and we have similar um, like body types, and I never knew anyone. There weren't a lot of women that were successful in like theater or acting that were as tall as we were. And so when I when I got to meet her, I thought it was. I didn't. Uh, I couldn't fathom it. I didn't think it was real life. I thought this has to be a joke. Um, so, and she was lovely for the few years I worked with her. She was such a consummate professional, so kind, so caring, so talented. Just everything you would think she is in real life. As a follow-up add-on to that, uh, your, your showrunner on that show, uh, a favorite of many people uh, from all of her other work, including Bunheads. What, what was she like working with? Oh, Amy? Amy, yeah, Amy sherman Kelly. She was great. She talks as fast as her characters do. Really? How does that go? <laughs> Who else? Who else? Who else? We got just a couple minutes left. Oh, well, actually, sorry. Let's let's go here, oh, and then we'll I'm go sorry, here. We'll Last go. question. Last question. Place of honor for you. Hmm? Oh, my question. Yep. Okay. So, will Anthony have a really badass Andy in season two? I hope so, man. I've been like, Wait, what? What, what is what? Andy? Who, like? <laughs> A code name. A, yeah, a name. I know. Like, oh, I gave them the name. Here Lauren, comes I gave, Andy. No, no, I gave Lauren and Andy the name. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god. Yes, uh, Andy, man. What do you think we should do? <laughs> no, no, I, I. <laughs> no, I've been like racking my brain. I can't decide on something. I think I think Deadpool and Polaris should start a one girls trivia team. Sorry, this was off topic, but. Um, I w I gave them the names Negatron and Positron, but then I was like, wait, that's already taken. Um. Yeah, man. Yeah, Matt Nix was just like, dude, like, try to come up with a name. I can't think of it. I was like, what? You're Why already Fenris. Responsibility you don't get to have me. two names, well, dude. I want to be, I want to be on my own. I want to. <laughs> How about like, uh. Uh. Breaker. I don't, well. Breaker makes me think of like electronics, though. Like a breaker. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Oh, I repeated. We had like this stupid thing here. called Destructo. Pusher sound like a drug. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Uh, I feel like vending machine thief. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, angry, en shower en boy. En angry shower boy, enemy of um, meter maids, or <laughs> meter, <laughs> meter, what are those called, street meters? Yeah, I don't know. Shower of destruction. <laughs> Too long, Her. Any good bloopers you want to share? Any good bloopers? Anybody on, on set particularly end up making you break and, and screw up a tape or anything? Uh, 
oh, working with Grace about me. Excuse me, you're, you literally come into a room and you're like, <laughs> No, I came the other day. We Literally, were, we you had this, were like, doing really, it, dude. You were doing we it. We had this really serious scene. Andy and I, and I have a lot of serious. Percy and I have a lot of serious. Sorry, Percy and God. Andy and Lauren have Percy and I me came, have a lot of serious scenes. I came into the room like this, like this. Watch, dude. No, it wasn't me. It was him. I am Crabulon. <laughs> so basically, that's what I did. Crabulon. There's your Thank name. Thank you. Crabulon. This was in between. And, Done. So and then we just like couldn't stop laughing. So. No 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 no. Well she could, That's but I couldn't. That's not true. This is actually what happened. <laughs> she was angry. I was not angry. So every, every between every take, you would come in and go grab your lawn, like whatever. And then in one of the takes, it's like a really serious scene. I'm like sad. I'm over here crying, and he comes in and he's like sad too, like which is most of our scenes. It's actually a really sad though. There's not a ton of bloopers because it's very very serious. We're dealing with like. Um, the like uh, uh, violence and hate towards Problems. a whole race of people, um, so it's very heartbreaking. But um, and then he came into the room and he like, wait, what did he do? I forgot. But it was not about Crabulon. It was something else. Basically, he, it was my coverage. The camera was facing me, but he came in and he was like, it always like, happens. Like it's always. not fair. <laughs> yeah. Crabulon. Also, we've decided that like if they ever want to like recast for um, Rick and Morty, like we're available. <laughs> well, one last one, as uh, as you guys have had fans coming up to you at conventions, at uh, you know personal appearances and everything since the show's launch, uh, what have been some of the uh, the most interesting, unique fan interactions that you've had? You know, people who maybe said something particularly touching to you, uh, or uh, you know uh, brought something interesting for you to sign, anything like that? Nothing. No. I'm <laughs> still I'm still waiting to get the devoted. Andy Strucker specifically, Andy Strucker fans. I have all of his comics appearances, sign them all please. Oh God. Um, no, I actually have people come up to me a lot, like um, specifically like women who are struggling with mental illness. Um, and that's been like very, very uh, powerful to interact with them for me. Um, like I, I've been with Polaris, I mean since the pilot for like a few years now, for two years. And to me, she's like very inspirational, um, especially now that she's becoming a mother. I think she's someone that doesn't, She's not afraid to break the rules, but she always does it for the for for good, to do good. Um, and so I've had a lot of interactions with, with people that also look up to her. And so we have these candid conversations, not as like me as Polaris, but like me as Emma, as someone who also looks up to Polaris. Um, and that's just been really lovely to talk to talk to these women about like life and what Lorna means to us. So that's been cool. I think that's a great note to close things out on. I wanted to thank you guys for coming out and seeing your fans. You don't have to do that, and the fact that you make the choice to do that makes a big difference to a lot of people. I'm not here one more time. Wait, wait, you guys. We have, have freestyle rapping. No, no, God, no, God, no. Look, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to promote my upcoming film, Age of Summer, which comes out on September 7th. Uh, on iTunes, yeah. So, uh, go go watch September seventh, September seventh yeah. on iTunes. Yeah. Wait, wait, okay. you guys, we have no, 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 God, no, God, God, no, 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 no. We no. have a we have a pitch. How about this? This kid runs away to the circus, and then he finds out it's actually run by this by this woman named Zoya Petrovna, and it's the Russian mafia. What do you guys think? No? Okay. No. Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not. I don't know. We literally I'm, talk about this all the time. I'm gonna have to like. He's like too cool for me. I'm right gonna now. discuss that with my manager. I, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Let's really blow this fucking place. Come on, let's hear it for Thank you for watching the Convention Junkies coverage of Fan Expo Canada 2018. Join the conversation below with a comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more. If you would like to help us with future projects, please visit our Patreon page.